The 17th annual Veterans Day Parade was held in Biloxi. Governor Phil Bryan expressed his thanks to all veterans on this day. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. What a beautiful day on the Mississippi Gulf Coast to honor our veterans. I've had a wonderful week. I've had an opportunity to talk with the Secretary of the Air Force on the phone, tell her about the absolutely best Air Force base in the country. And now I get to come and uh, enjoy this 17th annual parade here in Biloxi, Mississippi. It is time for us to remember those that have borne the battle. And those are men and women who wear the cloth of America. God bless you, each and every one, and God bless the United States of America. Among the attendees were Major General Timothy Leahy, Commander of the 2nd Air Force, and Colonel Deborah Lovett, Commander of the 81st Training Wing. Colonel Lawson explains the importance to himself and his airmen in being part of the parade. We are grateful to this nation and we are grateful to the Biloxi com community for having us here and celebrating our heritage. Our heritage is important and it, as we bring our airmen out and this opportunity for them to celebrate with the community in this heritage, it builds their value in the Air Force and in the service to our country. And so this is a great opportunity for us to build upon that. Gulf Coast Veterans Day Parade MC Jeff Lawson tells us why he believes we should also praise the families of veterans. And I'll tell you something else. Mrs. Wade, you can identify with this, and I know there are a lot of people in this audience today who can as well. Uh, my own wife uh, was a, her father, her late father was a career CB. And you know what? When a family member serves in the military, the entire family, in a sense, serves. Because it takes a lot of dedication on behalf of those family members as well to be there uh, for their loved ones in every sense of the word, including when their loved ones are in harm's way. So this day we honor and thank the families of the veterans as well. This is Andrew Whitman reporting for the 81st Training Wing.